we all have something like this, right? You throw your cutoffs in here. Cutoffs? Cutoffs. Offcuts? What do you call them? Vote down in the comments. You know, you throw them in here, then you, you keep the decent ones. They're really too small for much, but you always need something to see and see out a knob or use as a stop block. I keep mine, of course, next to the table saw. Uh, the thing is, my table saw is on a mobile base, and I, I move it around quite a bit, so uh, this thing is, just keeps getting in the way. It's pretty annoying. And that's what I'm attempting to take care of right now. I want to eliminate some of the pain points here in the shop, specifically today with the table saw. I've identified four things I wanna fix, uh, all relatively minor, but once corrected, they should make working with the saw suck a lot less. I'm working toward what I'm calling the suckless workshop. I can hear the collective cringe from people watching me drill through my table saw, but hey, if you can't modify it, you don't really own it. All right, one down. Pain point number two should be pretty easy to fix, but uh, it has annoyed me since I bought this thing. I got this folding out feed table. It's great, but the legs, they don't, they don't stay up. They, you can tighten them, it doesn't make any difference. And you gotta gather them both together at the same time before you lower it, and then it's, and then they, see, they don't, they'll just fall back out again, and you gotta gather them before you lift it up, and it's, ah. Uh, it's like a late night infomercial. I can't tell you how many times I've pinched myself doing this, but luckily the fix should be pretty easy. I always keep an assortment of magnets around and I dug these up and I think these are gonna be just the right strength to hold these legs. I think, or maybe just right at the end here, I could put it, I could put it directly in the end of the leg, but I'm afraid down near the floor, these magnets are gonna collect a bunch of garbage. So, so I think, I put it right under here. That just means I gotta work upside down like a chump. Or, <laughs> yeah, I guess I could lower it. You idiot. <laughs> I'm not sure this is actually much better. Now, I don't know if this metal is actually gonna be thick enough to put threads in, but we're gonna give it a shot. All right, that was my elbow against the side of the saw, I swear. Okay, yeah, that seems to have done it. Okay, just gotta unfold myself. If you're anywhere near my age, I highly recommend getting one of these pads I'm sitting on. Link down in the description. Or hell, get one when you're younger and you're a 
may not be in this kind of shape. Haha! <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's it right there. I wonder if I could get some of these with my logo on them. Or my face. Okay. Oh, it's already better. All right. Put it away. Yeah. Oh. What did that take? 10 minutes? Should have done that years ago. Magnets, yo. Now, I'm saving the most complicated part for last. I've, I've got a lot of unused space under here and I can really use some storage. And Inventables just sent me a link to some new software they're developing that I think is gonna make this a lot easier to solve. But first, I wanna take care of uh, one more slightly smaller problem with this uh, fluffy boy over here. But before we continue, I, uh, I wanna share something with you guys because I, I, I kind of feel like I'm living in the future. I've teamed up with Factor for this video who, uh, who sent me a care package this week. <laughs> yeah, very space age. I spend a lot of hours out here in the shop. I work late most nights. I don't really take the time to eat properly, but with Factor, I can have entire meals sent to me every week. These aren't frozen dinners. These are never frozen. These are fresh, chef-prepared, dietitian approved meals with a selection that changes every week. By the way, I, I love how they're all neatly packaged and, and individually labeled, like, like I'm living on the space shuttle back when there was a space shuttle. You just heat it in the oven or microwave, and a couple minutes later, it's ready to eat. Last night, I had a black pepper pork chop with Brussels sprouts, and today I'm trying herb-crusted chicken with cauliflower and green beans. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. And I love how convenient this is. There's, there's no shopping. There's no mess. It's already prepared for me and, and all self-contained. I, I feel kind of like Sam Rockwell on the moon. You forgot your smoothie. Oh, and they have smoothies and other add-ons. It's a clone joke. Go watch the movie. Do me a favor. Do yourself a favor. Go to factor75.com or click the link below and use code WESLEYTREAT50 for 50% 50 off your first Factor box. Really, go do it. This is good. Mm. Mm. This is my dust collection unit. It's kind of old, but it works great. It's dedicated to the table saw because I produce most of my sawdust with this thing. And I've, uh, I've got it connected to this control box. Whenever I turn the saw on, this automatically comes on. So they're, uh, they're wired together. And that means they've got to travel together. So the problem is, I can move this, I don't know, foot and a half, two feet. Then I gotta come over here, move this, and then move this, and I keep going back and forth. So what I'd like to do is attach this guy to this guy. So the first thing I gotta do is switch out the wheels because uh, only two of them rotate. These, these back ones stay straight, so it's not gonna move with the saw. Ugh. Found where all the spider eggs are kept. You know, anybody wants an omelet. Vacuuming a vacuum with a vacuum. Yo, dog, I hear you like vacuums. Really? What do you know? A craftsman uses metric. By the way, I, I didn't want to take this bag off because otherwise it would look like the set of Dune in here. Plus, I want to see how this thing moves with full weight on it. Haha! <laughs> Got lucky there. Oh no! Perfect. 
So now this can move any direction along with the saw. The problem to solve now is that uh, in order to move the saw, it has to lift up. So I've got to create a linkage here that will allow for that. Pulled this out of the new offcut bin. Now I'm hoping to mount these to the dust collector and that way I can move up and down like this. Stop it. Tool is only as smart as the user. There we go. For those who don't know, this is called a rivet nut. It's uh, kind of like a pop rivet, but it allows you to add threads to thin material. Like that. And I was just gonna add the rivet nuts uh, to this flange here that holds the top and the bottom of the dust collector together, but I thought better of it and uh, made this bracket instead. I removed three screws here. I'm gonna use those positions to attach this. And by some miracle, I got all three of these in the right place. And if I measured that right, <laughs> all right. Oh, what? Not you. Not yet. But you. That one's done. Now, pain point. Number four, as I mentioned, I want to turn this area into storage. I've got saw blades in a drawer over there. I've got feather boards in a drawer over there. I've got push sticks, an angle gauge, a spare brake for the safety mechanism. It's all scattered around the shop and it should all be right here. I've seen different solutions to this across YouTube. Michael Alm has a great design that integrates into the lift mechanism so that it floats I've seen another that's on wheels and moves independently and then reattaches with alignment pins. But I think what I'm gonna do is it's sort of a hybrid of those two. Uh, I've put together a very quickly improvised base here. It demonstrates basically how this is going to attach. I'm gonna attach it where the casters are and the other end of the cabinet is gonna have its own casters. My only concern with this design is having too many wheels on the ground, especially with the dust collector attached. I'm afraid it might uh, create too much drag or make it too difficult to control. So I'm gonna put some weight on this and make sure this works before I continue. Ow. It's a little slower than when I first started, but that's to be expected. There's no problem pushing it or steering it though, so I think we can move forward. As I mentioned, Inventables, maker of my X-Carve Pro, they have some new software that they're working on. Um, it's currently in beta, but you can access it at the link below. 
it is specifically for designing cabinets. Completely customizable. I need one with drawers. So we'll start there. All right, perfect. Now, to start, I do not need a toe kick. And we'll make the top solid. Yeah, we'll do half inch for the drawers to save on some weight. And it will automatically drill the mounting holes for the drawer slides. They've only got one series available now, but they've, they've told me that they are adding more types of, of slides for the future. And uh, now I just need to know the dimensions. Um, yeah, let's measure that. I've already dug up some 18 inch drawer slides out of my loft from a previous project. So uh, I think that's gonna be right, the right depth for the drawer. So I'm just gonna use those. The right side is gonna be on wheels and the left side is gonna rest on this. I'll have to figure out how to rest it on that one too because these are offset. But that's something I can figure out later. As for height, thanks to Michael Alm, I would have missed this. I wanna make sure that the top drawer clears the fence handle when it's locked down. As for width, you know what? I, I, bet, I, could, I bet I could just eliminate these legs. That, that would give me more room this way. And, and when I lower the saw, I can just have it rest on top of the cabinet. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right. So I've decided on 18 inch drawers. I need a total cabinet width of 26 inches and a total height of 24 inches. Then just adjust my drawer heights. And we can even see an exploded view. There we go. It'll even make the dados. So then I just click nest and it lays it all out for me. Then I just have to stick the material on the X-Carve Pro and cut. I did it upside down. This needs to go here and this needs to go here. All right, I'll do that off camera. Every time. Well, got to hit the button. It's gonna drive me nuts that these wheels are red and these wheels are orange, but it's what I had and they're exactly the right height. Of course, it's also gonna drive me nuts that these have brakes on them that I'm never gonna use. 
really, it's a miracle how I get through the day. All right, this is gonna make working with this saw so much more pleasant. Oh, I am gonna fill these drawers with so much stuff. And I made sure this bottom one was deep enough. I'm gonna make myself a little rack here to store my saw blades. Look at this, I've already filled my offcut bin. And when the cabinet maker software exported the shapes out to easel, I was able to go in and and modify them, tweak them a bit. So I extended this back area out as far as I could before it would interfere with the outfeed table. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this space yet, but it, it'll be some kind of extra storage. Plus, I extended this bottom piece out to, uh, to rest on that back caster, and that, by coincidence, gave me the perfect place to support my dust hose here so it's no longer dragging on the ground. We'll call that pain point four and a half and yes it still travels just as well as it did before now if you would like to add this to your own saw I'm gonna start working on plans for it I can't say when they're gonna be done yet but follow the link down in the video description and you'll get a notification as soon as they're available on my website also, if you ordered one of my ray gun panels after my last video and you haven't received it yet, don't worry. I'm still working on them. Uh, several of the initial orders have already gone out and I am picking up more materials on Monday. So more of them will start going out very soon. Be sure to try out Inventables Cabinet Maker software at the link below. This is probably the easiest cabinet I have ever put together. And don't forget to use code WesleyTree50 at factor75.com for 50% off your first factor box. I would really like to keep them on as a sponsor, mostly because I, I just want to keep receiving the food. So follow that link down there. Thanks.